So we're here on the penultimate survey of the 2015 spring survey season for the heritage mapping project as part of the high level stewardship scheme and we're out at Setley and we've seen a variety of, uh, of features from field boundaries to extraction pits and burial mounds and we've got a team of about eight volunteers out with us that are using the iPads and the cameras and whatnot to help record the features. So during the 2014-15 survey season we've undertaken around 11 different surveys and we've covered just over 2,300 hectares and this has varied across the forest and we've found some fantastic sites and the work done by the volunteers specifically has been really valuable towards the work we've been doing. Well, I think it's uh, important to uh, know what is there. It certainly gives you uh, a better insight to the history and what's gone on. Um, I must admit that since I've been volunteering and seen all these sites, um, it does make you look at the forest with new eyes. And I think the more that people are made aware of what they're walking past and what they can see, the better. So as well as our normal survey volunteers that do such a fantastic uh, bit of work with us, we've had a couple of people that have really helped towards the project this year. First of which has been Jack Powell, who's a Bournemouth uh, undergraduate studying archaeology. And he spent a year uh, working on the project, doing a number of different um, aspects, helping to improve the data, our understanding of the archaeology, and really also helping towards the survey work that we do. Um, I'd also like to mention Tony uh, Carpenter, who's doing a fantastic job in the office, cleaning all the survey data and uh, records that we get whilst out on, this, on these lovely days out. And he does a great job of cleaning it and making it uh, useful and viable for the uh, Historic Environment Records Office. The uh, best thing about being on the placement is the diverse range in uh, what we go out and survey and look at and the different te uh, techniques used in surveying. Uh, so far I've been learning desk based assessments and um, uh, archaeological planning as well as coming out and doing field work and uh, using LIDAR experience which will be an invaluable technique for me uh, for future jobs. So the last five years have been a real success in terms of the high level stewardship scheme, in particular the heritage mapping aspect. Uh, we've covered over 10,000 hectares of the open crown lands, we've th found thousands of um, pre previously known and previously unknown archaeological sites through the use of the LIDAR and the survey work and um, it's really been a fantastic five years and we're looking forward to move forwards over the next five years and continue to record these features, hopefully, hopefully help to improve our knowledge and understanding of the archaeology and the history and the heritage of the new forest and ensure that these monuments are protected and preserved for years to come.